Good evening everyone, Nick Corona here, bringing you guys a story about DJI and coronavirus. Something a little bit less morbid for once. I want to talk about what DJI is doing with drones and what drones are doing in general to fight COVID-19 and how technology is completely helping us. Also, I think it's really impressive that DJI is completely holding it together with their customer service, you know, maintaining sales and helping. So far, they've already pledged $1.5 million, but to me what's cool is how they're actually helping. So there's a few different ways, and there's a few different drones that they're even using to help. First, I want to talk to you about the biggest, coolest Argus drone that they're using. The Argus drone is one of DJI's biggest, most powerful drones, and it's mainly used for crop dusting, spraying chemicals, anything like that. It's very large. It has eight blades on it. It has big landing legs that come down, and it can actually carry up to 22 pounds. So they can put a pretty large size tank on it. And they're saying by using this method of spraying with drones, it's actually 50 to 60 times faster than traditional methods, like the guys you see on the ground spraying in the news. That is pretty ridiculous. Um, the drones have a sealed body and a cooling system so they can fly for a long time. You have to just keep obviously changing the battery out. The battery is going to give it anywhere from about 15 to 24 minutes of flight time. And that obviously just depends on the payload because 22 pounds being carried by a drone is a ton of weight and very, very impressive. Um, and just to kind of break that down, it, it, it can hold about 10 liters of fluid um, or 22 pounds. And even more impressively, this drone can go 49 miles per hour, which is really cool. You obviously wouldn't spray that fast, but that means you can be pretty far away from the location you're spraying and get straight to it because 50 miles an hour in the air uninterrupted gets you places pretty quick. So some of you might wonder what exactly it is these drones have been spraying or even the people that you see. And it's basically either a chlorine or ethyl alcohol based disinfectant. So something overall harmless to us, but should just immediately kill the virus or anything else it comes into contact with. And it's really nice doing it from the drone because then you're obviously just, you know, raining down, getting rid of the airborne elements and just really hitting everything. Uh, so they're saving a lot of time, money, and another whole perspective of doing this with drones is not having people there on foot. It's much safer for everyone, more effective, faster, and safer. I love it. I think what DJI is doing is awesome. And, you know, I think this sort of technology is going to help us fight these things in the future. Now, an another drone that some of you may be more familiar with is the drone I use on my channel, the Mavic Pro. Well, there's actually a more expensive version called the Enterprise, and basically the main difference is it has an attachment point on top, and it also has a thermal camera in it, so you can, you know, obviously see the temperatures of people, which is something that if you've been following coronavirus is a main indicator that they've been using to determine who may have coronavirus. Um, a really cool thing that I found looking into this is that, you know, this thermal sensor wasn't quite accurate enough to tell the difference between, you know, a person with a regular temperature and a slightly high temperature. There was just a little error of margin and DJI actually found a quick fix for it. And they did this by basically having you put a Q-tip on the gimbal that just slightly comes into camera range and something about having that there helped the margin of error. Pretty wild, who would have thought of it? It was just a quick fix that they came up with for right now in helping find people with coronavirus. And then another cool way they're using that same drone is on top, they're using the speaker attachment to disperse crowds or provide directions because if you're flying the drone and you know maybe you see people congregating or someone in the streets or something, you, you can't really do much and they might be intimidated, 
but it actually has a loudspeaker on top where you can say like, you know, hey, go home or get out of here. This is a government drone. I don't know, whatever you want to say, but they're using them in China. Um, I even found out that they're using drones in some situations for like emergency work lights to just you know, it could just keep changing the battery and keep the drone up and have work lights in crazy situations while they're building these hospitals and whatnot. So far, DJI has already disinfected 3 million acres in China. They're really going to town and proving their technology. And then one final thing I've even heard about is using the drones to display banners. So while they're talking to people, they also have banners displaying a message. Pretty cool stuff. All in all, I'm very impressed with DJI and searching publicly, the biggest disruption I could find was a little bit of a delay in raw materials. But other than that, they're doing a pretty good job at keeping up. I'm sure we can blame this a little bit for the delay of the Mavic Pro 3, but obviously we all have bigger things to deal with right now. And that's my optimistic look on coronavirus and the excitement of drone technology and how it's playing a role. Thank you everyone so much for tuning in. I hope this was at least a little bit of a refreshing coronavirus story for you. And, uh, you know, everyone stay safe out there. Even if you're young and healthy, take it serious. Think about your grandparents and enjoy school off. You guys have no idea what I would have done to get this much school off in high school. It, this was like a fantasy, something I'd sit around and dream about getting this much time off in high school. Unfortunately, it's for a terrible reason in a terrible pandemic that we're dealing with now. And although there's been so much crazy stuff coming out of it. I hope that we get a little bit of positivity with stuff like this and new technology proving itself to fight this in the future so that we can just have a fleet of drones take out, take off and clean the city for us while we sleep. Well, that is your news drone DJI coronavirus update with Nick Corona. Thank you all for tuning in so much. If you haven't subscribed already, do so now below and any of you who watch my channel know my Mavic flew away on me and the new one is coming real soon. Guess how many weeks, guys? Probably tomorrow. That's right. I don't know how I'm going to sleep at night. I'm probably not going to after this video. I'm just going to go sit at the door and start looking out now. He should be here within the next 48 hours to deliver my drone. All right, well, I don't want to miss him, so I got to go, guys. Peace.